Hey Thelma, this is Storytelling Thursday. Okay, I just made that up. But I've been thinking about one of my brothers, which means I'm thinking about all of my brothers at the same time and you know, but this is the one that is standing out today. It's my baby brother. Okay, so the story starts not with my brother. The story starts with this asshole rest in peace, named Earl Petway. He used to pick on me all the time. And, you know, I didn't fight a lot. I kicked, you know, I just didn't. Um, unless people were bothering other people, you know, then I would like kick their ass. But if you were picking on me, I didn't fight. Usually, I didn't. I did. Okay, so Earl Petway used to pick on me all the time. And he was this short little guy, and he's just, just uh. All right, well, he even picked on me when I started growing breast. Hello? It wasn't really breast. It was just like nipples, fat, sticking through this stupid-ass turtleneck I had on. I don't even know why I had it on, but he teased me that day. Oh my God. All right. So I couldn't take it anymore. And I, I had to call in troops. Fuck him. So I started with my oldest brother who was graduating from medical school at the time. So he really didn't have time to come across the country and kick Earl's ass. And then I went to my next brother who was probably in federal prison at the time on drug charges. So he couldn't really help me. And then I went to the, the, my next brother was in college, probably pledging into his fraternity and all the little girls was trying to come up. I, so he was no good. So as a last, trust me, a last ditch effort, because I was desperate at this point, I went to my baby brother. He was older than me, but he was the baby of all my brothers. And I told him my plight, you know, about Earl Petway, and I told him I really needed him to just come and handle it because this boy would not stop fucking with me. And without a whole lot of emotional questions or <laughs> anything, he said, okay. So that's what happened. All the kids were on the playground after school and we were waiting on buses or whatever to go home. And all of a sudden coming through this crowd of kids was a motorcycle. And on the motorcycle was my brother. Oh my God. 